Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Goodness. So if you haven't already been able to tell from the thumbnail, we're gonna do drag washer upgrade. We're gonna upgrade to some Carbon Tex washers on our Daiwa Freem's reel, uh, just to get a little bit more smoother drag out of it. So it's quite easy. I know a lot of you guys are DIY. If you're not DIY, it's not super hard. You could go onto eBay, get some uh, pre-made uh, Carbon Tex washers yourself. Uh, you don't have to cut them yourselves, or you could just simply, you know, ask the person that services you real to upgrade them for you. So, we're going to go through, I'm gonna sort of give you a quick basic run through. I know a lot of people out there probably already know what they're doing when it comes to DIY real servicing and stuff like that, or upgrading their own drags. So, if that's the case, either follow along and uh, talk about me in the comments, or talk about me at home going, oh, what's this guy doing? <laughs> he's doing it wrong, he's doing this wrong, he's doing that wrong. Or just go ahead and watch one of my other videos. I'll leave a link for one of my previous videos, which will be probably Bass Galore. So I'll leave that uh, up here and uh, I'll put a playlist link for that one down below as well if you want to actually watch some fishing. Or alternatively, I've got a fair few thready videos. So go check one of those out. But for those of you at home wanting to do some quick basic upgrades to your drag, let's walk through how to upgrade your drag system to a carbon text washer. So I've just gotten three different sizes uh, all off eBay there from the drag man. If you don't know him already in that, he's got an eBay account there so you can just go through and either buy pre-cut drag washers for your specific make and model reel or you can just buy them in little uh, slides yourself and cut them to shape. So that's all we're gonna do today. So I'll leave a list in the description box down below of everything that I'm sort of using today slash what you would need in order to do so yourself, just to make it a little bit easier and I don't have to go through and say, you need this, you need that, just to sort of streamline this whole activity. Cause let's be honest, we want it to be like a five minute job. It shouldn't take half an hour to an hour, but for me it probably will. So there's probably gonna be a little bit of cut and edit just to make this look a little bit more flash and ritzy. Uh, anyway, let's dive into it. So firstly, you're obviously gonna need your reel. Let's go through and uh, actually take our reel apart. We're just going to take the um, spool off the top of the actual shaft. I know you like that shaft. It's nice. And we're basically just going to take that off, pull it down. So as you can see, <laughs> a little bit of excess grease on the top there from uh, from me last time or whoever serviced it last time. But uh, you've got a little clip on the uh, top side, or the top inside there, so we're just going to pull that out. Just use your fingernail or a screwdriver or, you know, whatever you sort of want. I'm just going to throw that in our uh, mineral terps, which I've pre-poured. Now, you could use various different types of spirits. So I wasn't actually fully prepared, but uh, or <laughs> you also need like a little screwdriver so we can actually pop this drag system out. Just so it's nice and easy to get at. But if you're new to it and you've never done it before, just make sure you lay everything out in order just so that the process is a little bit easier. So we just tip this drag system upside down, pop out, everything in the spool should come out. That's the bottom side of your spool. All nice and uh, relatively clean. Give that a quick little clean out ourselves. Just dip, your, dip a rag. Uh, into the metho or terps or whatever you've got, whatever white spirit you got. Don't be too paranoid about it going on your fishing line. There's a lot of people out there that sort of got their own preconceived opinions about, oh, it's gonna damage the fishing line. It's, it's nothing to worry about. It'll dry, it won't leave residue or anything like that, and it's not gonna degrade your line any more than use. So let's clean that out. That's nice and clean. Ready for when we go to install our new washers. All right, next up, I'm just gonna split this drag system down and break it down into uh, individual components so that we can then go through and upgrade the components that we want to. So, nice, simple, straightforward, not much to it. As you can see, got a little bit much uh, grease in there from the last time, but we're just gonna grab our felt washers. We just give them a bit of a rinse off so that when we actually go through and uh, copy paste, essentially, to our uh, carbon text, it's not gonna be too bad for 
grease and stuff everywhere. And just grab our second rag, just dab them off. Basically, all that mineral turfs is doing is just taking all of that excessive grease and sand and dirt and salt and everything off, just so that we've got a nice, clean felt washer. There we have it, our uh, nicely cleaned drag components, all nicely laid out. <sighs> now, I realise I haven't exactly gone through and described or explained too much why we're actually going through and doing this process. Now, a lot of people probably won't essentially need to do this. if. If you're not really using your drag for, I mean, sorry, if you're not really using your reel outside of its intended purpose or if you're not really using it too much, a standard felt washer is probably going to be fine. But for me, chasing threadfin salmon and barramundi and stuff like that that tend to pull a bit of drag and burn a bit of line, essentially, uh, it's always good to have a nice, uh, well-serviced drag system on here so that we don't have, sorry, just clean a bit of grease off the reel. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, we want a nice smooth drag that allows the right amount of friction and slippage at the same time so that we can not lose fish, put enough pressure on our terminal tackle and not have breaks and issues and stuff like that. So a good reel, a good well-serviced drag, and in this case, a uh, upgraded drag is gonna be one to 2% uh, of worry off my chest when it comes time to catching that fish of a lifetime. So that's why I'm upgrading it today. You might have your own reasons to upgrade your drag itself. All right, so we've got the right size uh, drag washer paper here. It's just Carbon Tex 0.8 mil uh, drag paper. Now this is gonna be what we'll use for our drag washer. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by, by putting our little felt washer down going around with a lead pencil preferably uh, or something else that you could use to mark it out. We just sort of do a little bit of an outline around the edge. Something that you can see. It's not gonna show up very well on the camera, but don't worry too much about that. Uh, while we've got our drag washer like that, we're then gonna use some uh, heavy industrial scissors to cut out our piece of paper. Now, it doesn't hurt to cut it a little bit bigger than the felt washer to start with, especially if you're using scissors, just because we want to make sure that that drag washer is going to fit into this heart, into the spool housing itself. So, once that's done, we go through and we grab our hole punch, put our drag washer back on top. We're just going to line it up approximately with where we want to be. Give it a little bit of a um, groove just so we know where we're going to be able to hole punch. So it's created that little tiny groove. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera. We'll punch that out, and you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And that'll fit nice and easy into our spool housing like so. We want to try and maximise the amount of drag in there too, so you know, don't want it to be too crooked or uh, too mismatched or janky or anything like that. <sighs> so... We'll quickly turn this into this. All right, we're good to go. So we've now got our three drag washers. We take out our felt washers. Don't really need them anymore. You can keep them as spares if you want to. Throw them away and there we go. We've got our new drag system ready to go. Scissors off the side, get rid of our pencil. We're gonna go through and we're gonna grease it. So this is just basic dye with real grease. Uh, drag grease would be better. Any sort of lubricant is going to be good, but a good rule of thumb to be able to determine how good a grease is, is when you actually meet it together and try and pull it away, it wants to stick and hold together. The longer it wants to hold together, the better that grease is going to be. So we're just going to rub that into our drag washers. Now we don't need copious amounts, but you will need a little bit to start with just because they're going to be dry dry washers themselves. They'll soak up quite a fair bit of that grease into the felt or into that carbon. Once we're done, we start assembling our drag washers. And basically just put it back in in the reverse order. Put it all back together. We should have something that looks a little bit like that. We've put that little spring retainer clip back in as well and we've just given it a little bit of a push around, make sure that it's seated inside its groove. Now this is ready to put back together. So we'll make sure that as we're putting it on, we slide that spool on gently, push it home, 
spool cap goes on, same thing. Now we tighten this drag all the way up, I always just tighten it up until it goes home. Don't need to tighten the hell out of it. Just enough so that it's seated properly and then back that right off again until you can move that spool by using your thumb and forefinger, or finger if you want. It's easy to move by the thumb and forefinger. And there you have it guys. That uh, is pretty much gonna wrap it up. So let's just give this drag a quick little test out. Put a line on, so I've got something to pull on. Put a little bit of pressure on it. Oh yeah, much tighter. That's gonna give me a lot more stopping power. Yet it's still quite smooth. So there you have it. That is updating your drag washer system to a carbon tech system. Uh, and going away from felt washers. Easy enough to do at home by yourself. If you can't cut them out yourself, that's all right. Drag man on eBay, he has pretty much every make and model that you will probably need. Uh, already pre-cut, it might cost you a little bit extra, but look, for the amount that it costs and the amount of drag pressure and improved uh, drag capability of your reel, it's definitely worthwhile doing. With that, that is the end of the video. Make sure you drop a like if you did get something out of this video and if it did help you. Drop a comment down below in the comment section if there's anything that I missed, any tips, tricks, any advice that you have for me, or if you just enjoyed the video. And remember guys, 80-20, that's fishing. I'll see you in the next one.